What I want to take a closer look at today is this AR displacement setup that I used on one of the beach shots. All right, let's get into this. All you need is After Effects, then some stock footage of something interesting. I'm using a wave here and some cool background footage. So we have our background plate ready here. In my case, it's some handheld footage from one of the beaches near Sagres in Portugal. And uh, yeah, it's handheld. It makes for a pretty good track because we have some defined textures here with some nice contrast. So the track should be okay, but we'll get into that in a second. We'll start off by making a new composition and make sure that the width and height are the same size. Go for around 2000 pixels here. We'll call this displacement map. And into this, we'll drag our wave footage. This doesn't really have to be a wave, it just has to be something interesting with some movement that could make for a nice displacement map later. So for now, we'll leave it as it is. We'll navigate back to our main composition and drag in the displacement map we just created into the composition. This will just be a 2D layer for now, but we'll change that right away. So we'll toggle the switches or the modes by pressing this or pressing F4. And then we'll check this 3D checkbox over here. Nothing happens so far because we don't really have a camera yet. For this project, we don't want to create a custom After Effects camera and animate it ourselves. What we want to do is we want to extract the camera information from our background plate. So I'll make this invisible for now and we'll start a 3D camera track. This is really simple. All you have to do is right click on your background plate and then go to track and stabilize and track camera. This should take a while depending on the speed of your computer, but when we're done, we should have a pretty good track of this scene which will then allow us to create a new camera from this data. And then we can place anything we want in 3D space and it will just match with the background footage. Okay, so the camera track is now done. As you can see, we have a lot of track points all over the sand here. What we'll do now is we'll create a camera by pressing create camera. And this is where you would normally want to normalize your 3D track. So the scaling proportions are all correct. But for the purpose of this experiment here, we'll just keep it as it is and work with the wonky um, coordinate system. But I do recommend normalizing the track for especially bigger projects. So I'll be putting a link in the description to a tutorial that explains this very well. All right, so we have the camera here. And if we enable the displacement map again, you'll see it's really small and we can't really see it. This is because we didn't normalize the track. But if I just scale this up and reposition it to where I would want it and also rotate it in space, you can now see it has a fixed position in our 3D scene and that's what we want. All right, so for us to get the displacement effect, what we have to do is create a new adjustment layer by going to layer, new adjustment layer, and we'll be adding the displacement map effect to this layer. By the way, I'm using FX console by Video Copilot to quickly apply effects to my layers. But if you want to apply the displacement map through the menus up here, just search for displacement map and it's the same thing. It's under distort and then displacement map. Just drag it onto the adjustment layer. But I like using effects console because it makes the workflow a lot faster. Okay, now that we have this set up, what we have to do is we have to select the displacement map layer, which is our displacement map composition. Click this. We'll set the use horizontal displace to luminance and do the same thing for the vertical as well because we only want to have the brightness values of our input layer. And what the displacement map effect does is it takes the brightness value in this case from the input layer and then applies displacement to our output layer accordingly to the intensity of these brightness values. So if I disable our displacement map layer for a second here, and then increase the horizontal displacement, you can start to see the warping and bending of our background footage. But it's not really what we're after here. What we want is we want the displacement to only happen in this space where this square is sitting. But the problem here is that the displacement map effect doesn't really know that our square is sitting in 3D space. So it essentially just takes the 2D values we can fix this by right clicking on the displacement map and then going to pre-compose and move all the attributes to the new composition. What we also have to do is copy over this camera information by clicking on the camera and then pressing command or control C and then going into this composition here and then pasting it over to this. So we now only have the displacement map layer in space without the background footage, but it's also moving according to the camera. If we navigate back to the main composition, this now means that, as you can see, the displacement only affects the square. And this is exactly what we want. So we have the basic setup now, but what we can do is improve the animation by animating the displacement properties over time. So we'll start off with something like 200 on the horizontal displacement, 
and then we'll press the stopwatch, go a bit further in time, and then animate this to, let's say, 1200. I'll also press U to bring up the keyframes, select them, and then press F9 to easy ease them just to make the animation a bit more smooth. And as you can see, the displacement now animates and gets stronger over time, which is exactly what we want. I can actually also improve this even more by changing the easing curve to be a bit more harsh at the beginning, which is something I tend to do very often. And that just gives it a bit more of an interesting curve. All right, cool. All right, so the only thing that's left for me to get to the original example is to add the text. So I have a text composition prepared here, which is, which is essentially just these bits of text animating in and out. And I drag this into our comp and set the scale and position to be the exact same scale and position of the displacement map layer. And now it's overlapping. And because we put it above the adjustment layer, which has our displacement map effect, this text will not be affected. If we were to drag this below the adjustment layer, then the text would also get displaced, which is also interesting actually. But for the original example, I decided to go for a cleaner look. The cool thing about this setup is that because it's procedural, we can just go into the displacement map comp and then switch out this image for something else. And this will automatically update in our main comp and change the displacement style to something different. So make sure to experiment with different background footage types and also different displacement footage types because you can get some really interesting variation this way. And yeah, so this is the end of the tutorial. I hope you learned something. I'm excited to see what you guys come up with with this technique. And yeah, see you next time.